Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. We're checking out season two, episode two of um, Bottom. Man, this the, this season started off with a bang, man. That last episode was really, really funny. Um, the whole time Richie's about to get something, like, there's no way this dude's gonna get some though. They they can't like, you know, because like this is a big part of like the story. I'm trying to like get some ass all the time. But honestly, if he lost his virginity, it wouldn't really ruin it though. If I think about it, because they're still gonna be constantly pursuing ass the whole time, so it'd still be um, funny. And there's so many other funny things about this show. But I was still like, I was like, I don't know if this dude gonna lose his virginity. Like this dude about to freaking um, pass out or something out of stress or something crazy. Then he had a heart attack. Well, not a heart attack. They put the what the his kidney on backwards or something like that. I can't remember what it was. It was something like that when he went and um sold his um he sold a kidney, right? I think he sold a kidney. Yeah, yeah. So this the season started off really, really good, man. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and see how it goes. Right. Iron Munger. Hmm. How many letters? Um. Ten. So put it down. <laughs> There's only room for six letters. <laughs> You'll have to spell it wrong. All right. Uh, v. Fish. Four letters now begins with X. <laughs> X. Xylophone. Xylophone fish. No, it'd sink, sink, wouldn't it? it? <sighs> you know, I'm not sure that. <laughs> You're right, me old pal. <laughs> Oh, we get through a few scrapes, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, where are we? Uh, right. Ironmonger, six letters. Oh, got it. Harold. Bloody won that bet, didn't we? <laughs> no, we didn't. That's why we had to eat his dog. <laughs> Harold again, right. OK, well, Harold it is. Right. Is it, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Harold only has five letters. Well, I could make the H huh really big so that it... Well, there's no room for the D. Oh, for heaven's sake, who prints these things? Oh. What is the point of having a clue if it doesn't fit the little holes? I think I'll just put bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 come on, Eddie. Let's do telly it properly. Away. <laughs> oh, well, you know very well why they took the telly away. No, I don't. Yes, you do, Edward Hitler. They took the telly away because, according to you, while you were wending your merry way down to the telly shop with the rent money, you ran into a rather strange... They are magic beans, you know. Oh, yes. And here is the magic beanstalk. <laughs> well, I'm glad I've got a head for heights, because it's a whopper, isn't it? <laughs> we shall be needing oxygen all masks. Right, all right, let's change the subject. It's irrelevant. In fact, I forgive you. It wasn't me who bypassed Rumbelows every week for the last three months, saved up the £86.23 pence, and took it five doors along. 85 pounds? Oh, God. For the beer, 85 pounds, you too can have your personal organ enhanced so that it is comparable in size to that of a fully grown mountain gorilla. <laughs> yes, and when he said comparable half an hour with a copy of Razzle. <laughs> 85 quid! I've got to be watching Emmerdale Farm now. Yeah. Then he could have got one for free. <laughs> life and telly. <laughs> You're right, there isn't. <laughs> it's like a wave. <sighs> this is unbearable. We could be missing a watchdog special on... Tiddlywinks? <laughs> no, no, no. We ended up in hospital last time, remember? <laughs> True. <sighs> oh, what a sad and tragic waste of a young, attractive life. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't got a tail. Oh, well, pin the sausage on the chicken. We haven't got a chicken. Well, <laughs> pin the sausage on the fridge. Or a pin. Sell a tape of sausage to the fridge. <laughs> we haven't got a sausage. Put a bit of sellotape. <laughs> OK. All right. Give me a bit of sellotape and I shall stick it on the fridge. Here you are. Come on, Daily Motion. What are you doing, dude? Daily Motion. Oh my Look goodness. Out. It's the last there bit. Better be careful. <laughs> Is that it then? <laughs> yeah. Who won? <laughs> Eddie, it matters not who won or lost, but how you play the game. Oh, you mean I won? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you think you're good at games, do you, big boy? <laughs> well, what about a real game? 
game of champions. The clash of that nature if my idea doesn't work out. Okay. Although this time I really think we ought to let the custard cool down a little first. Oh. And that handstand rule is a complete disaster. Mm. Apart from that, bloody good game. Absolutely. Mind you, you always have a considerable advantage because Wait, you're... Then. I'm the winner. <laughs> well, I... Well, I told you not to sit down. <laughs> Probably missing a late show special on lesbian art. How do you feel about trying your luck, Eddie? No, I'm not going out now. <laughs> Even if I did score, my underpants are all. Really? There's my antique chess set that my great auntie Dorothy left me. I've got it safely under lock and key in my strong box because it's so valuable. Ah, he sold it. Well, don't look. I'm getting my key from the secret place. Behind. We haven't got a cleaning lady. Well, then I must get one and speak to her. <laughs> oh, here we are. This chess set was at Waterloo, you know. Wellington played on it the night before the big fight. All the men are carved out of antique ivory, and they're worth 75... Well, are you sure Wellington put them all back when he'd finished? <laughs> well, of course he did. He wasn't a stupid man. He invented the Chelsea boot. <laughs> well, <laughs> never mind, Richie. I'm sure we'll manage somehow. I mean... We are British, after all. <laughs> well, that was fun. What should we do now? This time we play with a full deck. We've only got five pieces. We can use other things for the missing pieces. Oh, great idea. Now, let's see. We need 16 prawns. Well, we're in luck there. We've we got a bag in the... The chess champion. And I look a bit Slavic, don't you think? <laughs> What's this pot of Crest doing in the fridge? That's not Crest. That's that yoghurt you started during the Gulf War. <laughs> Told me. Might as well finish it. Oh, yeah. Doesn't taste like banana and peach. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think, Eddie? I think you've got your raincoat on inside out. <laughs> Are you off? I thought we were playing chess. <laughs> right. Here we go then. Now, that can be the king. Well, it has to be, doesn't it? I mean, it's brown sauce. <laughs> Cigarettes, my dear? I don't mind if I do, my dear. Have a bit of a biro to smoke it through. Oh, tar very much. That's a bit of biro, by the way. Tar very much. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just like Lord Byron and that other bloke, you know, Earl Thingy with the long dressy on and the flappy stuff around his chin. Really? Because you look like a stupid git with his raincoat on inside out. Oh, Eddie, this is fantastic. Chess is the best idea we ever had. And it was one of mine, wasn't it? <sighs> the nosy pig scattered around the place. Olives! Hey, Eddie, you're catching on. Great idea. Uh, we haven't got any olives. What about prunes? <laughs> well, they look like olives, don't they? And they make you regular. Dinner prunes coming right up, Mr. Byron. Right. Taken about the place, Let's but up. not spilt. Right. Now, how do you make a vodka martini? Uh, well, it's got to have some vodka in it, doesn't it? And, uh, what about vodka and, um, martini? Or is that being too stupid? We haven't got any vodka and we haven't got any martini. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Everybody in Hollywood does it. I think I'll just put a bit of salt around the edge of the glass if it's all the same to you. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, watching your tellies, are you? Addling your brains. Pardon? No, I have not. It's a smoking jacket. <laughs> you ignorant git! <sighs> Eddie, it's a shame we have to live in this area. It really is. Oh, right, you're going to skip meeting me, old flapper, and the very best of luck to you, and I mean that very, very sincerely. Right. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, no. Before you start drinking, as this is a special occasion, and... Oh, do you think we should dim the lights? Um, well, we haven't got a dimmer. No, no, <laughs> Uzo, my... marmalade and salt. <sighs> Oh. I think we should think of a special name for it. What do you think? What about the, uh, oh, the bloody awful? <laughs> oh, come on, Eddie, take it seriously. Oh, got it! The Esther Ranson. <laughs> <laughs> and on tonight's programme, an interesting misprint that says penis. <laughs> oh, oh, see what you mean, yeah. Oh, it's sort of lacking something, isn't it? Uh, Ready. Have we got any umbrella? Sophisticated living, gentlemen's rooms. Yes. Here we are, underneath our umbrellas, drinking ouzo and salt, 
each behind his line of frozen prawns. That's what I love about you, Richie. What? You're no. <laughs> right, shall we get started? Right. No. Oh, no! Wait! I know what we need. Music! Of course. What could be better? What should we have? Oh, James Last, Bert Bacharach. Oh. <laughs> Molly. More football with you, isn't it? <laughs> hey, do you remember that night those girls turned up? No. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame, wasn't it? Mind you, they bloody nearly did. I think your mistake, Richie, was in turning out the lights on the street. <laughs> Great days. <laughs> Great days. <laughs> yes, they were. Ha, come on, let's go out. I thought we were playing chess, Mr. Bond. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> chess. Wonderful chess. Oh. Hey, did I ever tell you about that? Losing oh. it. <clears throat> Sit down. Yeah. Good idea. <sighs> okay. This is it. Everything's ready. Yeah. Are you ready, Eddie? Yep. Right. All set. Oh, one more thing. Oh, get any money or anything? <laughs> 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 Let's just go through the rules one more time and then we can start properly. <sighs> well, I had to break it. Look, just put it back, please. All right, all right. And that one's called a rook? Yes. Why? Does it nest in trees? <laughs> no, it's a castle. But it's called a rook. That's right. Even though it hasn't got any legs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very likely, is it, Eddie? And this, this is also a bishop, you say? Yeah. And the queen goes in every direction. That's right. And they let children play this, you say? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty strong stuff, isn't it, Eddie? And you're, you're one of the baddies, you know, Q or whoever, and if I lose, I have to die. <laughs> Enough. Yeah, great. Yeah, we should have loads and loads of birds around the place, you know, all like Ursula Andress, you know, and everyone's in bikini. Even the industrial strength floor cleaner. <laughs> Three litres of it. <laughs> I've explained the rules of chess to you 124 times, and I'm bugging if I'm going to let you delay the game another ten minutes while you scan through a few back copies of Amateur Photographer. <laughs> My move. OK. All right, this is going to take me over to make a move. I know your tactics. <laughs> okay, right, this is it. What would Napoleon do? Lose the Battle of Waterloo. That's no good to me. Right, this is it. Only one thing for it. Attack, attack, attack! Over the top, lads! Charge! Ah, ah! Right, everybody, follow me. Da -da 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 -da. I can't follow you. I'm a bishop. I have to go sideways. Da -da 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 -da. Ah! Ah, ah! Hooray! It's the Queen's own ketchup! Ah, ah! Oh, no. That's your move, is it? <laughs> yep. Get out of that one, Rommel. <laughs> Checkmate. Interaction going. Well, if it's interaction you want, cop a load of this, matey. <laughs> this is funny. This is a good episode. I remember uh, I was in chess club in high school, 
And it was like, it was one of the few clubs I was like, not not high school, junior high school. It was one of the few clubs I was actually interested in. I'm still not good at it. Like, like I mean, I know all the rules and I can play decently, but I don't know. I don't strategize well. I just play it. So, don't get me wrong, I've won some games, but if I played anybody who actually was really serious about the game, I would lose. It was funny. This was a good episode. The joke he was telling about, like, why he called the drink that name? Richie asked, like, why he called it that? I don't know who, who, who or what he was talking about. Like, what he could say, because they could expose your gums or whatever. I didn't get that joke. All right, guys, that is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.